See, from what I've seen, being cutting edge is all a matter of attitude. You rebel against the system by being dismissive of everything anybody says, and being in people's faces as much as possible. You don't suppose the fact that you got that attitude from MTV and ad campaigns damages its credibility. As an anti-establishment philosophy? Ahem yeah right, stupid head. You're going to be one of the few people who's actually more tolerable as a teenager. Aren't you? Look, Avery. I found your seat. Oh well. I guess Avery's like most people. Really? People see only two options. Mindless conformity or mindless rebellion. And either way, some company is doing your thinking for you. And, uh, say, what's that? Oh, I'm building a scale model of the space needle out of lollipop sticks and chewing gum. I'm trying to decide if I should consider that reassuring or scary. Does it have to be one or the other? You're going to go to school looking like that? Hee hee hey hey. Well, looking silly is your right, I suppose. Darn it, rebelling is zero fun around here. The western dragon the bane of St. George. The terror of many an unsettling fairy tale. The mere mention of this fearsome creature could send villagers scurrying desperately for shelter. With the exception of an especially determined and hostile night. Few things could give a dragon real cause for fear. No. Please. Anything but a trip to the dentist. Honestly, Dad, this is almost as bad as your fear of rubber chickens. Dad, there's no reason to be afraid of going to the dentist. Yes, I know that intellectually. It's simply that I grew up in a different era. When dentistry was a somewhat less developed science. So they weren't as skilled with anesthesia? Well, that's only the beginning. All right, open wide. I'll get started while my assistant prepares the leeches. Well, at this moment, Dad's swallowing his fear of dentists and getting the tooth fixed. I'm proud of him. That moment when you step over the cliff can be terrifying but then, when you discover it's only a six inch fall, it's profoundly liberating. Why, I bet right now he's discovering that fear is nothing but an illusion. Hello, doctor, I'm... A-A-A-A-I-A-I-H, okay, say ah. Ah. Um, you know, it might be a better idea if, in your case, we avoided rinsing and spitting near any of the equipment. So your dad survived his trip to the dentist? Yup. His toothache is gone, and so, I think, is his fear. All that's left is some temporary fallout. Novocaine is somehow even funnier on your dad. You should have seen him trying to eat spaghetti. What? You must have known you inherited it from somewhere. 